Let's learn about loops and conditions in Jade. Remember, if you are using a text editor which doesn't support indentation and only recognizes new line characters, then that text editor isn't of much use for writing Jade programs. I had a text editor which was just removing the indentation after it has been compiled. That is for the reason that it, it needs to compress the file so that it could be served from the server faster to the client. Leaving all that optimization apart, here I am using a Chrome extension, Chrome extension link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. So let's go ahead and see how to write it. I am taking an array here called names. I have Apple and Microsoft in it. I have a UL. You could see the reflection inside the source window. I'll write each. It's a loop name in names and I'll output name that is each name inside the array. Once you indent, indent it properly, the output is presented to you in the results page. You could see the source in the source window. If you want index, you put a comma and take another variable. I'll take i here or any other variable. For convenience, I just took i. So you could see 0 and 1 here. So I could add, add plus 1 because the index starts from 0. Similarly, you could use for loop here instead of each. And you could even remove this minus sign. It's an optional thing for writing loops and conditional statements. Let me take an object here now. Company 1, Company 2. Apple and IBM. I'll take some random company names and I'll show you how to fetch these names using loops. So again, UL each. It, ha it has a key value pair. So value comma key in object. And I'll print out key value pair in the ally section. key colon value so once I indent it I'll take this all the way here the output is presented to you you can you can simply copy this out and paste it inside your editor and execute it so indentation is important only for the elements not these each and that is loop and conditional statements but note that minus sign here is mandatory while declaring variables and objects. Now I'll take a variable called fc, maybe a follower count of 2. Now the conditional statement if, here minus sign is optional. If fc is equal to 0, is strictly is equal, equal to 0, then I'll print out inside a paragraph tag that you have no followers. So note that it doesn't hold true for if statement not even for else because i'm checking here if fc is one that is not true two so you have one follower so since fc is equal to two the else block gets executed see the result in results window you have i'll just embed it directly here fc followers so let's have a look change the value of fc and have a look of look over its result you have no followers you have one follower and so on so as i said minus sign is optional even in the conditional statements if you go ahead and put minus symbol before if if else and else it will still execute the same way. So once you tested out your code, you could simply copy this code and paste inside your plain text editor, save it and execute it using your Express framework of Node.js because Express by default supports Jade programming. Next up, we will be seeing something about a uh, keyword called mixing let's see it in the next video thanks for watching please share this video with your friends on google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon
Facebook, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video on YouTube.